They say, hey, I can't stay late playing on my video game. You got things to do. You need to wake up early and read the morning news. Maybe I fit in if I tried a little more just to look like them. Maybe I fit in if I tried a little more just to act like them. Play my video game. 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 Spend all my money on my dead friends. They need things to do. They need to go out and look for jobs and you do too. Maybe I fit in if I tried a little more just to look like them. Maybe I fit in if I tried a little more just to act like them. Play my video. Play my video game. Play my video game. Play my video game. Maybe I'd fit in if I try to look like them. Maybe I'd fit in if I try to be like them. Maybe I'd fit in if I try.
of shower I want to fly away Far from my mistakes My baggage has too much weight hey, hey. So my bed is where I stay I want to fly away Far from my mistakes My baggage has too much weight hey, hey. So my bed is where I stay Tell the clouds that I stay hey. I live 17 floors up and when it rains I can feel those drops in my window pane Let's me know that I'm still here But when the sun comes out I will go outside When it breaks through clouds I will give a smile Let's me know that I'm still here Sometimes I want to run away, run away To find good times again Find all my old friends. Good times, I said good times. Find my friends again. I said I wanna have good times. Good, good times. Find my friends again. And, and good times, I said good times. Find my friends again. I said I wanna have good times. Good, good times. Find my friends again. And, and.
They say, hey, I can't stay late playing on my video games. You got things to do. You need to wake up early and read the morning news. Maybe I fit in if I tried a little more just to look like them. We're back. I hope you found us. If you're just getting on the live stream, hit that share button. Let your friends and family know where you can watch the Round Valley Elves against the Marinci Wildcats. I have to admit, I was talking to some Marinci fans last night. I was a Wildcat for a few years, and every time I say that, the cheerleaders will chant, once a cat, always a cat. So apparently I'm still a, a Marinci Wildcat. Yeah, I don't think so. I did my time, served a couple years in Marinci, lived in the pool. That's about all you could do in the summer in Marinci. I did. We came back. Middle school happened up here, and I was around Valley Hills. They need things to do. on out. They need to go out and ready. look for jobs. Um, here in the dome, we're on court one. Round Valley coming off a victory um, earlier today. Court four. We were over in the gym earlier today. Dan, did you catch a little of that action? I did. Maybe I fit in if I tried a little more just to act like that. Play my video Kind of took me back to the olden days. Oh, here, let me see if I can get Play my video time. Yep, that would be it. I'm talking over music. Let's see if it's a little bit better now. Stand by. We should get rid of the music and be good to go. Eight minutes on the clock as we get things started here. A court one. This is the round ball tournament. Round Valley Elks versus the Marinci Wildcats. Yeah, buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a good one. Hey, look at that. It sounds better. It is on a little bit of a delay. We are getting ready for tip off here in the dome. I didn't get rosters. I got to go down and take some pictures so we can get some new rosters. Marinci wins the tip. Good. Number five for the Wildcats to number 10. Dan, I got to switch gears. feel like it's going to be a little bit different paced game here with the boys on the court. Number 13 with it on the left side and number 10 to three, three around the side. 13 going to the hole. Round Valley with the rebound. Ziegler with the rebound. He's going to go to Marble. Marble's going to bring it down. Andrea. All right, Dan, I'm a little farther away from you, but we're still chatting it up. Here we go. Marinci picks it up, number 10 with it. I'm going to run the camera for a second so we can get rosters. Three at the top of the key, working it around, is going to give it to number five. Hand off to 10. 10 runs hard to three. We're Bobbin and weaving, they're braiding something. NBA three. Oh, it's good. First score of the night, an NBA three-pointer makes it three to zero. The Wildcats are the home team on the scoreboard. Round Valley with it, 22. Joa Brown, first one to answer for the Round Valley Elks. Freshman, Joa Brown. Number three from the top of the key, drives in, hands it out to number 10. Number 10 drives in, finds 13. He's going to go in. Off the bank, 5-2 to two ball game. A little bit of a whoops. He's going to give the Wildcats the ball back. Hey, Russ. Yeah, 22 Marinci with, with the foul. Oh. And then a technical called on number 22. 
Dan, I missed it. What was the excitement? Well, 22 got called for a foul. Apparently, he disagreed with the call. Had a brief discussion with our nearside official here. Who and was then, given a technical. And then the official teed him up, went over to the coach and said, hey, I asked him to stop talking, and he didn't. So now Riker shooting uh, the technical. Okay, this makes a lot more sense now, because as you say 22, I'm thinking Joa Brown, and I'm like, really? No, no, no. What is Joa doing <laughs> for the Wildcats? Okay. <laughs> Still a 5-2 to two ball game. Round Valley will get the ball after the technical as well. Yes. Stanton's going to bring it in to Riker. I'm going to move it over so we can see. Here we go. Here, I'll move over here so you can hear me. I'll slide down here in just a sec once we get Rustin back. Brett Jordan with the ball. Jordan back to Riker. Riker dishes it in to Joel Brown. Doesn't get it to drop. Number three picks it up for Marinci. Riker with some defense. Tan's going to get it in. 7-2 to two ball game. Marinci up. Brett Jordan for three, oh. boom! And just like that, it's a two-point deficit for Round Valley. Brett Jordan and Staten Wilson on point with the three-pointers the last couple games here in the round ball tournament. See if they can continue that fire. Brody Ziegler gets it to Riker Marble. Riker goes up, unable to bring it down. Marinci gets it, he's gonna I think that was Joel. Uh, that, I think that was Brown, wasn't it? Joe. No? Joe. Number 12? 12 would be Brody Ziegler. Brody. I thought that was Brown that tripped him up. It, I think it was, well. Don't disagree. You might get a technical, Dan. Calm down. Yeah. Open! 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 Marinci with the cheering section over there on the west side of the court. Number 10. Number 10 is Noah Chavez, hands off to five, uh, Joey Sabalos. You know, these new foul rules definitely make things interesting. Derek Little with the ball. It changes the dynamic of the game a little bit. Well, 22, I mean, we're halfway through the first quarter, and number 22 for Marinci got two fouls already. Yep. I mean, he's going to have an early night at that pace. Danger, Will Robinson. Riker crossing half court, goes to Jordan. Jordan back to Marble. Marble to Wilson, Wilson to... Staten gives Wilson. it to Ziegler. Ziegler's gonna go up strong. He gets it. Three point ball game, Dan. Marinci with it again, number three, bringing it on down. Let me get these open here so we can get us a, a roster or two. So that was a foul against the Wildcats then. I had my head down. I believe or so. Or was it just out of bounds? It was just out of bounds. Round Valley with it. Riker Marble to Staten. Staten Wilson to Brett Jordan. Brett Jordan on the side. Riker Marble, nobody around him. Boom! Tie ball game here in the Dome. 3.33 left in the first quarter. Little brings the ball down for the Wildcats. to 25, number 25. My goodness, I think that's McCollum. Adrian, number three, back to Little. 12 to 10 ball game. Hey guys, give us a sound check if you're watching the stream. Let us know if we're coming through okay for you. We had to turn the volume up, down, around. We're getting it dialed in and figured out. Riker Marble dishes to Brody Ziegler, free throw line. Out to Staten, Staten for the three. Kaboom! Twelve to thirteen's the score. Round Valley up by one. Two forty-four left in the first. I gotta save my voice. I'm already losing it. <laughs> we are home team tonight, aren't we? We're, we're, we're guests. We're losing. No, we're guests. We're winning by one. Oh, we're up by one. I looked through, through the window. Little with the shot Three from the outside. Round Valley's gonna let it go. We were way down. I thought. I mean, the home was. That's changed fast. Yeah. Yeah, Grandpa Marble, Marble you were live on the air. 
Brett Jordan to Ziegler. Ziegler with the shot from the free throw line. Doesn't get it to come down. Little bringing the ball down. Little to number 10. 10 with the shot up. Off to the left side. Joe Brown trying to get it, unable to bring it down. Brody Ziegler there with him. They're struggling to get back into position. Shot no good. Three, Little with the shot. Little brings it in. 14-13 ball game. I can think of another good reason for the headsets, Wes. Just as like a big red fire truck we're talking right now. <laughs> Brett Jordan brings the ball down, picks his dribble up, Staten Wilson with it. The Elks trail by one. Brody Ziegler dishes into Joe, and that's going to be a foul. Only four fouls for both teams, significantly less than what we were seeing in the girls' game. So like we said, the Lady Elks will play Alchese tomorrow at 10.30 here on Court 1. Hoping the Elks get a victory as well here in this game, so we're both on Court 1 tomorrow. Joa Brown! Joa Brown, his second of the night, if I'm not mistaken. Is he a freshman? Freshman. True freshman. I got to get a scoreboard back. We used to keep some stats. Number five dishes to Little. Little with it at the top of the key. One minute left in the first. Elks up by one. Trying to get things opened up. A little bit of a pick. Round Valley gets. Yeah. Holding on the defense. <laughs> I think that's a hand check. Isn't that the signal for a hand check? He's just trying to hold his hand. Oh. Just trying to help him out. Grabbing the arm. Holding. All right. Okay. Holding. Inbound to Marble. 53 seconds left in the first. Brett Jordan with it. Dishes to Riker. Looking to Brett or looking to Ziegler. Riker shoots it. In and out. Morenci picks it up. Little has it with 33 seconds left in the quarter. 25 all alone. Ball is long, picked up by Staten Wilson. 13 trying to pin him in the corner. Riker gets him out of it. They're calling a play. See what Round Valley does with it. Is it just me, or can you kind of feel the tension starting to build a little bit? I'm feeling it already. Like you're just waiting for that breakout moment. Round Valley looking for one more score before the quarter's over. We got five seconds. Long NBA three. Off the back of the rim. That's going to do it for the first quarter of play. Your Round Valley Elks up 15 to 14 here on court one. This is round ball basketball here in the Dome. Each other's defense, trying to figure some things out. A little strategizing happening on the fly. Yeah, I think as this game progresses, we're going to see the pace pick up. This is just my guess, but I'm... I'm betting that the, we're going to see the pace pick up and this thing is going to be a goal to goal sprint. If you were to philosophize a little bit, philosophize, you would you predict. Of course. So is that the is that the Lady Wildcats or is the cheer squad here just not skirted up? I'm not sure what's going on. No, that's Marinci's cheer squad. And I was going to say, you know, 60% of the time I'm right. A hundred percent of the time. Yeah. Guys, a huge shout out to the sponsor family bringing the action here in our winter sports coverage. We got some great people with us and they help us make it happen. Yeah, thanks for bringing me on tonight. This Dan, I'm glad you walked by. You want to party with us tomorrow? We're definitely going to need the help. Fortunately, I got to work tomorrow, but I'm going to try to make it. I'm hoping that everybody goes long in the tournament and then I can come in in the evening. Watch those 4.30 and 6 o'clock games? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Second quarter action here in the Dome. Dare I call it the Arizona's Choice Insurance second quarter here in the Dome? That just seems to be in my brain. Brody Ziegler gets it from Jordan. That's going to be a travel call. I'm almost wondering if they've had a discussion and created a point of emphasis Oh, I would 100% believe that traveling is a point of emphasis this year, just as many times as we've seen it. I honestly would think that it's been at least 100 traveling calls that I've seen, and I haven't even been to all the ball games. Well, you know, unfortunately, if these young men and women are watching the NBA, uh, 
and not, they, not and a good they, example? No, because then they think they can do the same thing. They try to emulate that level of ball play just like, you know, just like in football. Joe Brown getting his hand in there. Oh, that's going to be a foul on 23. Oh, he got hit in the face. That was Wilson getting hit in the face, wasn't it? Yep. He's checking to make sure he has all those teeth really quick. Once again, the Lady Elks will play at 10.30 tomorrow morning. We're getting that live stream prepped and set for you. Not sure who's going to be here yet. Riker Marble, top of the key to Brett Jordan. Brett Jordan on the left. NBA three. Off the bank. Little picks it up for Marinci. You know who would be good? MK. She did a really good job last year. Hands in the air. That's a three-pointer. Marinci up by two. Riker stops his drive. Brett Jordan from the side gives to Marble. Marble to Ziegler for two. And gets the foul. He's going to go to the line for two. Yep. You know, Round Valley drawing that defense all the way over and leaving 13 out there all by himself with Ziegler. Yep, one-on-one. On one. He really didn't have a choice but to foul him as he was going up. Yep. I, w I didn't want to call it an easy two, but there was nobody there. 13 makes some some moves, gets the foul. Ziegler misses the first. Six and a half minutes left in the second. In and out on the second one, too. Two-point ball game. Twenty-three for a long shot, in and out for the three. Riker gets it. Little drives coast to coast. Twenty-three with trying to get the assist, doesn't get it. Brody Ziegler with the rebound. Yeah, not a lot of buckets, but you can see that the pace is definitely picked up. As Brown goes up for two. Oh. Delay of game? Yeah, Joel Brown's going to get called for delay of game because he, you need to leave the ball down. If you grab it after the basket and shoot it back, it's okay. considered delay of game. Okay. I do know that one. Tie ball game, just under six minutes left in the half. Ball's in and out. Little doesn't get it. Riker does. Riker with the dribble. We're off to the races. Brown Valley putting the pressure on. They're going to slow it down. He shoots the three. Short. Brett Jordan getting in the mix. Nobody around Brody Ziegler. He's under the basket, though. He'll make it a two-point oh. shot. Elks up by two. The deflected ball hits Jordan in the foot. And it ends up in Ziegler's hands for two. And then Ziegler's under under the basket. <laughs> he had to adjust. Kind of surprised the official on that side didn't call Jordan for tipping. Yeah, that's fair. Incidental, maybe? I don't think he meant in any way to kick the ball. It's just what happened. No, it was definitely unintentional. The ball hit him in the foot. He didn't kick it, but it was. Riker Marble to Brett Jordan. Back to Marble. Just saw Quinn Ashton. I'm sure he refed himself three or four games today. Saw Paul this morning. Paul ref three. I'm sure they'll be back tomorrow. Nobody around to 23. He's not going to take that three point alone. Little will not either. Little drives in. Tries to get an easy two. Touches it out of bounds. That should be Elk's ball. Okay. Because I thought he marked it the other way. It's going to be a timeout with 426 left in the half. It looks like Poston's going to take a timeout, full timeout. 60 seconds to regroup, me being one of those people. Tie ball game, 19-19. Can you see the difference in the pace from the first quarter to the second? It's it's ramping up. Yeah. We are we're turning it up. Buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a wild ride. <laughs> yeah, we still got two and a half quarters of basketball here tonight. Round Valley fighting for the ability to play in the semifinals tomorrow. Yeah. Let me take a look at the bracket. I'm not sure it's going to be updated, but Round Valley. Oh, Round Valley will play Pima. 
winning tonight. Nine o'clock tomorrow here on court one. Losing, uh, loser of this game will play uh, Fort Thomas. I know Marinci doesn't like to be considered a Gila Valley school, but it is a part of that that's general only, location. That's only a mistake I'll make one time, I guess. Russ, here we go, second quarter. I guess it's my turn. So Riker's going to take his time bringing it down. What? Pima's here watching. You know they're scouting. Brody Ziegler. Little. I have a feeling that Little is to the Wildcats what Riker is to the Round Valley Elks. I don't think you're going to see him off the court much tonight. No, you know, as you look at these two teams, you see the similarities, and it's just, you know, the similarities in athleticism. And, you know, these are very evenly matched teams, size-wise, athletic, athletic. What am I trying to say, Wes? Athleticism? Athleticism-wise. Oh, that's going to be, is it backcourt from an inbound? Riker Marble, that's a little uh, marble combo we were talking about. 30 passes to Staten Wilson. Staten will draw the foul. He's going to go to the line for two. Let me take a look here. Yeah, get, get on your game. Number 30 is Ryan. We're shooting two. The Elks up by two. Wilson being heckled by the Marinci faithful over there on the sidelines. Twenty-two at the rebound. He's gonna bring it down. It's a little. Little on that right side corner. He seems to default over that way just a little bit. No basket. Marble with the rebound. Three nineteen left in the half. He must be severely right-handed. Dominant, one might say, yeah. Wilson, kaboom! I know it's boom and I'm saying kaboom. I hope I don't get in trouble. Little with the pass to 22. 22 is Sanchez to 10. Chavez with the shot, with the miss. Brett Jordan's gonna travel. Yeah, kind of hard to miss that travel when your shoes are colored that brightly. <laughs> hey, look at me. <laughs> Those are attention getters, that's for sure. Does anybody see much? Here we go. 13 with it. Takes a dribble. I Brody was stepping just a little bit. Was he but stepping? I, I, I was looking at the top half, not the bottom half. So maybe, I, maybe it was a shuffle, as it were. I don't know, but I feel like he at least rotated. So maybe the movement was enough for them to call the foul. Um, 13 going to the line to th shoot two. 13 is Yadida. It or Yadidia. Yadidia. I hope I'm saying that right, and I apologize if I'm not. I, dang it. I didn't get down to Marinci to let them know we were live streaming the game. If anybody knows any Wildcat fans, let them know where they can watch the game tonight. We're live here on court one here on Let's Go Elks. You know, I bet they're checking it out just to make, I bet they know just to check and see. I hope so. They know us by now. Marinci was actually the first away game we went and streamed as Let's Go Elks. Brody Ziegler, gonna miss. Yeah, it's hard to believe we've been around long enough to do trivia. That's it. Whoa. Brett Jordan looking at the official for little assistance. <laughs> Ryan drives in, out to Jordan, Jordan to Riker. Riker's gonna bob and weave, gonna kick it out to Staten Wilson. He made that three earlier, in and out to Marble, Marble up to Brody Ziegler, whoa! Yeah. That's gonna be an on the ground foul, the fourth team foul uh, for the Wildcats this quarter, two minutes left. So that's going to be 
number three's first foul. I thought the contact was more from 13 than it was three, but somebody's got to get the somebody's got to get blamed. Dish out to Wilson. Wilson gives it to Jordan to Riker. Riker double teamed. Brett Jordan kicks it over to Ryan. Ryan back to Jordan. Jordan for the three. Boom! Brown Valley on a little bit of a run right now. Move it on down. Here we go. 130 left in the second quarter. 22 with the drive in. He's going to wait. Brody Ziegler is going to have his third or fourth foul of the game, Dan. <laughs> Is that Brody's third? That's the third on him, that's for sure. Danger, Will Robinson, danger. That is his third, guaranteed there, right there. Yeah, so that's... says the scoreboard. And I believe Steven's actually down working the scoreboard, so he's probably got it. You know what, he is. 22 with the shot, makes the first. Makes it a seven point ball game. Dan, I didn't look at the scoreboard for a hot minute. Yeah, 1927. I'm How you thinking. doing? So as far as team fouls go, Marinci's up four. Oh, Marinci's going to take a full timeout. So, but I was going to say Marinci's got four team fouls. Brown Valley's got two, but Ziegler's in foul trouble already. Yep. Which is, which I don't think is that off of normal actually for Ziggler because he is aggressive and he does play hard, but you, we need him in the second half, so we got to be careful. His presence on the court versus his presence off the court is, you know, there's a huge difference. He does, just in his presence, he just brings a presence to the court that, you know, causes the team to work hard, play hard go hard and I'd hate to see him foul out because you know like in the Sholo game you could see there was a difference in gameplay yep. after he had fouled out so 100% I'm hoping he can slow it down a little bit well and hopefully we're able to pivot a little bit you haven't seen Round Valley do a lot of substitutions I think because we're not taking our foot off the gas no, but luckily we have a little bit of depth in the bench. Joel Brown's going to check in for Ziggler now. We do see and some Cole substitution Tom coming happens. in. So it's Wilson, Marble, Tom, Brown, and Ryan. Is that? Yeah, a big adjustment. shoot and and one. I believe Joe Brown's going to take responsibility for that one. And I'm going to take responsibility for not switching back to the full screen video. <laughs> I was trying to look at the roster to see everybody that was new in and losing my mind. Well, just pretend we're on the radio. 23 shot in and out. Joe Brown trying to get the rebound. Does. Shoot. Throws it wildly back into the Wildcats hands. One minute left. 23 with a three pointer. Does not fall. That's out. It's going to be Round Valley's ball. Yes. Okay, I almost thought they were going to say something else, and I wasn't sure how that was a well, thing. Well, 22 went to chase it out, and then Joel Brown didn't let Boxing him land out. in bounds. So. Staten Wilson bringing the ball down, gives it to Riker Marble. And there's two for Ryan. As Tom gets him the ball inside. We're in the middle. Six point ball game, 30 seconds left. <laughs> 25 seconds. Really? Tom going to draw a foul. And we're going to, nope. It's going to be four and four now. Any fouls from here on out take us to the line two and two. His first, Tom's first. seconds 22 goes up for the shot in and out gets his own rebound gets it back making it a four-point ball game Riker Marble bringing the ball down with 13 seconds left Round Valley needs one more shot to stretch it back out 
take us into halftime comfortably. Definitely don't want to see a turnover right now and make it any tighter than it is. Ryan, oh, Ryan dishes to Staten. Staten all the way in. We're going to draw a foul with .8 seconds. Staten Wilson with the opportunity to make it a six-point ball game as the Elks get ready for halftime. Yeah, White 10 drawn that foul as he went in, and that'll be his first. But that will be Marenzi's fifth team foul in the second quarter. Wilson shoots well when he's heckled. Oh. We about needed that ambulance back for a little bit. <laughs> Guys, we're going to go into halftime with those two shots dropping. Round Valley up 31 to 25. We'll be back in about 10 minutes here on Let's Go Elks. They say, hey, I can't stay late playing on my video game. You got things to do. You need to wake up early and read the morning news. Maybe I fit in if I tried a little more just to look like them. Maybe I fit in if I tried a little more just to act like them. Play my video game. 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 I can't spend all my money on my Debbie friends. They need things to do. They need to go out and look for jobs and you do too. Maybe I fit in if I tried a little more just to look like them. Maybe I fit in if I tried a little more just to act like them. Play my video. Play my video game. Play my video game. Play my video game.
Live 17 floors up and when it rains, I can feel those drops in my window pane. Let's me know that I'm still here. But when the sun comes out, I will go outside. When it breaks through clouds, I will give a smile. Let's me know that I'm still here. Sometimes I want to run away, run away. To find good times again. Find all my old friends. Times I said good times. Find my friends again. I said I wanna have good times. Good good times. Find my friends again. And and good times I said good times. Find my friends again. I said I wanna have good times. Good good times. Find my friends again. And and.
I can see this city through my watered eyes Let's me know that I'm still here When my eyes clear up, I will go outside I'll imagine you're still by my side Let's me know that I'm still here All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are just getting the clock set, getting the camera back at it. Rustin's on the camera for us tonight here on Let's Go Elks. I'm joined by Mr. Dan the Truth Man Muth. Hey. Dan, when's the last time you and I even commentated something together? It Seriously. Is, it has been a very long time. More I'm, than a season. Yes, definitely more than a season. Where it was just you and I. Yeah. I mean, it's been a very long time. Uh, Marinci's going to start things off. Little's going to get it. They're going to pass it around to number 22, Sanchez. Tristan Sanchez puts the first score on the board, making it a four-point ball game. Brett Jordan with the NBA three that's going to fall short, rebounded by Lopez. Can't you got to shut this down? Don't give him another two points or three. In and out, and Roundby's going to let it go out in. Wildcat ball underneath. I don't know that. There's going to be a discussion there. What are you doing after the game? I don't know. What do you think? What are you doing? You want to go with something to eat? No. Okay. What are yep. we doing? Oh, black ball. Okay, let's give it to Ramble. Okay. So, now black ball going the other way. Brett Jordan gives to Ryan. Ryan to Stanton. Stanton back to Brett Jordan. Brett Jordan swinging around, gives it to Ziegler. Ziegler with a hard step. I thought that whistle was ours, but it was not. That came My from heart. court, too. That was our whistle. That was our whistle, yeah, so. Brett Jordan picking up a foul. Yeah, moving screen, so that's going to give Marenzi possession. Surprisingly, Marenzi taking their time, trying to get set up. Twenty-two is going to draw the and one. Is that on Ziegler or is that on Jordan? I hope it's on Brett Jordan. On Ryan or Riker. So that was on Riker. Surprising. Brett Jordan, the and one does not fall. Twenty-nine thirty-one, the ball game. Round Valley yet to score in this half. Riker Marble with the ball at the top of the key. Brett Jordan not moving anywhere this time. Staten Wilson drives the middle, drops. Round Valley scores, making it 33-29 ball game. Yeah, Jordan was setting up the pick, but Marble had picked up his dribble, so he couldn't go anywhere. Yeah. Long three by number 10 is going to fall short. Riker picks it up. Riker drives hard. Staten Wilson in position to receive, doesn't get it. They're going to kick it back out to Brett Jordan. Yeah, Ziegler down there calling for the ball. Three-pointer by Ryan, doesn't fall. Nobody there to get the board. Got to slow him down. Oh, that's a charge. No. No. He didn't get set, so they're going to call him for the block. Oof. Jordan's second. That will be his second, I believe. Round Valley heavy on the fouls already here early in the third quarter. That could cause some danger. Four-point ball game. Remains a four-point ball game. Twenty-two for Marinci seems to be their workhorse underneath, but he's struggling a little bit. Tristan Sanchez doesn't get either to drop, unfortunately. You're right, though, Dan. He's been their go-to underneath, and they just have not been falling for him. Marinci's going to get the ball back. Lopez to inbound to Little. Number three, Derek Little. Yeah, that's an unfortunate change of possession at this stage of the period. Every, everyone has to count. Five kicks it back out to the top to Sanchez. Sanchez drops it to 23. Lopez, Lopez drops that one in the bucket. One point ball game. Round Valley doesn't need to get fast and loose. We need to be calm and calculated. Staten Wilson to Brett Jordan. Jordan to Wilson. Riker, Marble. Doesn't get it to drop. Bernie Ziegler tries to get the rebound. Can't make it happen. 
Picks up his dribble, surprising to see. I think he could have taken that all the way in. Jordan's going to get the rebound. Oh, no, nope, no. Nope. Rancy's going to call timeout. Jordan had him trapped on the far side of the court. I was almost afraid that was going to be a reach on it, Jordan. I think if the timeout hadn't it came, it would have been, to be honest. It was close to it. He was, he was looking... The official was looking at him pretty hard. Dan, there's only been three minutes of basketball in the third. It feels like it's a lot more than that. Yeah, so it looks like a coach brought a concern out to the officials. The officials are discussing it. Both coaches sharing some insight right now as we get ready to get things back on the court. It will be Marinci's ball. They're going to bring it in on the side. Noah Chavez will bring the ball in. Two Chavez is on the roster. Dare I say they might be related. Yeah. Maybe not as much as Haas, Haas, Walker, 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 <laughs> but. Yeah. There's 22, tripping himself up. Is that a charge? That yes, is, is a charge. So Cole Tom drawing the charge off of 22. What I was going to say earlier was, you know, there's a big difference between playing with pur with purpose and hustle versus with panic. Yep. And yep. it looked like there for a couple minutes, both teams were kind of going into panic mode. More us than them, I think. And so Round Valley's got to settle back in and get calculated. Here we go, Staten Wilson. Oh, nice step over. Brody trying to get the ball. Tom gets it. And one. Three-point ball game. Tom's going to try to make it four. There's Mr. Scott Madrid. I was looking around for him. I know he has to be here shooting, shooting some shots for us. Excellent camera work. He'll get those uploaded. We'll get them to you as soon as we can. Really appreciate Scott being part of Let's Go Else. Little with it. Little to number five. Kicks it out to ten. He's going to drive in hard. Riker gets the rebound, 424 left in the third. Ryan, nobody's around, shoot it. Oh. In and out. Somebody said boom prematurely, I almost did too. 23 dishes to five, five with a shot, it's short. Nice pick up by Ryan. A little bit of a reach there, but yeah. not called. Again, a whistle from court two that I thought <laughs> was for us. Pull Tom going up, but it's not going to make it. Tom doesn't get it to fall. Here we go. Shots up. In and out and in. One point ball game. Blood? Yep, we've got blood. Looks like, is it Ziggler? 22. 22 for the Wildcats. Oh, he bled on Ziggler. That's what it was. Sanchez coming out of the game for 25, McCollum. Ryan, oh, Ryan in the game. He's going to inbound it. Ryan looking to Riker, gives it to Tom. Staten trying to get open. Ryan with it. Ryan drives. Brody Ziggler. Yes. Three and a half minutes left in the third. Little brings the ball down, gives it to 10. There's Noah Chavez. Oh, yep, yep. Just a little touch. He stepped out? Yeah, Little was a little out of bounds. <laughs> so marble into Wilson. Wilson's going to bring it down. Hey, how many Wildcat fans, how many Elks fans do we have? Drop us a note in chat who's watching the game tonight and where are you watching from? Somebody's excited. Staten Wilson picks the ball up. Tom. Oh, Tom with a pass to Ziggler. Ziggler up, in and out. Ziggler trying hard to get the ball. Little gets it, though. 2.55 left in the third. Little picks up his dribble. Tom getting a hand on it. Staten looking down to Ziggler. Riker Marvel to his left. Riker for... Not for three, all the way in. Pretty. Let's talk about that turnover. Did you see how Cole Tom bats the pass, 
and then boxes out the Marinzi player so that we can recover that. That was a great give, heads up play. They're going to give Ryan that foul there. That was interesting. So that's going to be 14 fouls for the Round Valley Elks. But no, heads up play, Dan. Really smart play by Tom. Yeah, that was that was outstanding because to intercept the pass, I guess, is a good way to say it. And yep. then to box the player out so that we could recover, that was. Staten Wilson gets the rebound after two shot attempts by Tristan Sanchez. And Sanchez is going for the jump ball, but grabbed the arm instead of the ball, so that we get a foul. Sanchez lost his Band-Aid. Sanchez has to come out because of the Band-Aid. He's not happy about that. Yeah, they need to put some tape over that. 13 coming back into the game. Yadida or Yadidia. Man, I'm sorry. That looks like it might be an I, and I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Yadidia Laputa. Yeah. I bet he goes by Yeti. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> he tells me I'll do it. <laughs> Staten Somebody Wilson. from Marinci, tell us, please. I need a Wildcat fan to let me know that's okay. Hey. Staten Wilson to Tom. Riker Marble at the top. Kicks it to Ryan. Ryan looking. Staten Wilson bobbing, weaving, looking. Tom thinking. Oh, ball stolen. Tom makes a dive for it. Nice move. Ooh. Was that not a travel that with the roll? should have been traveling with the roll. He rolled. Little puts his arm into it. 13 goes back up for the shot. Gets it. So. Yadidia Luputa, Lu, Luputa. Brody Ziegler coming down. 135 left in the quarter. Oh, Brody picked up his dribble. Danger. Ernie with it. Gives him a hug. Yeah, going for the jump ball again and ends up fouling him. So it's going to be four team fouls for both teams right now. So the next 91 seconds of the ball game results in two and two, two and two, two shots, not one and one. 91 seconds of the quarter. Or? Yes, for the quarter. Sorry. Yeah. A any foul from here on out's foul shot. Little surprised that Round Valley didn't go with the press breaker. I think he said Yadidia. I think I heard coach. Maybe. Riker Marble. Marble picks up his dribble. Staten Wilson. Foul's going to be on the ground. We're shooting two. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's shooting or not. Yep. But what I was saying earlier is, you know, Marenzi coming out with that full court press, but, you know, Brody just brought it down. They, they didn't really go into a press breaker there. But I guess if it works, it works. So Wilson's first bucket is good. We've got some subs checking in. We've got Jordan checking in for Tom. And Zero checking in for Marinci. 80 seconds, four point ball game. Let's see if Staten can make it five. He does. Those, those uh, free throws come in clutch. You gotta have them. Gotta have them, especially in a game like this. Every point counts. Five point ball game. Little hands off to Sanchez. Sanchez is back in the game. Ryan's gonna draw the foul, and Sanchez goes to the line. <clears throat> Sanchez 0 2 at his last free throw attempt. Yeah, Sanchez is, you know, he's their go to underneath, but he hasn't been that productive. He's just, so far, it hasn't been his night. But the way they go to him, he has the potential to be a hot scorer for them. First one is just short, bounces off the front of the rim. He's not liking that tape on his elbow, might be a little tight, it's bothering him a little bit. Gets one to fall, four point ball game. One minute, five seconds. Brett Jordan with the ball for the Elks to Ryan. Ryan has two fouls on him for the game. Ooh, slips through the hands of Riker Marble. Brett Jordan with it, looking around, gives it to Staten Wilson. Defense! Defense! 
Ryan to Jordan. No, doesn't give to Jordan. Across to Staten. Staten with the three. Boom. Yeah, that's it. We'll take it. Guys, don't forget, help us make it to 1,500 over the weekend. We're looking for a 1,500th member of the herd here on Let's Go Elks on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. Help us out. Yeah, Hit Wilson's going to come up with that bad pass from Marinci. Oh, quick pass to Brody. Oh. Nobody there to help Brody with the rebound. 15 seconds. Enough time for them to answer. Hopefully, Round Valley shuts things down right now. Little at the top of the key pass to Sanchez. Sanchez back to Little. Nobody around. Oh, to five. I don't think that pass was on purpose. That's a foul. We're going to go shoot with 2.4 seconds on the clock. Little went to swipe the ball and hit Wilson Smack. in the top of the head. Just one of those, my kid isn't listening. Yeah. Right in the back of the head, just a little bit. A little bit of an oops upside the head. So hey. that's going to take Wilson to the line. Guys, if you're enjoying the coverage tonight, hit that like button for us in the quarter break. Rotate that phone, hit subscribe, hit the like button. Let us know you're enjoying our coverage here in Round Valley. The Round Valley Elks host the Marinci Wildcats during the round ball tournament. This is the quarterfinals. Staten drops the first one, making it an eight-point ball game. Let's see if he can make it nine. I would like to see it. Shots. Shots up. That's going in. It's a nine-point ball game with two and a half seconds. They're going to roll that baby to half court. Oh, they're going to rocket that baby to half court. Little, little throws it into the student section. Yeah, passing it to a couple of Pima players that are watching the game tonight. <laughs> Dan, we talk adjustments a lot at football, normally during halftime. Do you see any changes here? Round Valley's had their foot on the gas. Do we bring a couple different players in? Surprising uh, that we haven't seen Joe Brown a little bit more. I think he's, I think what he's, if there's any adjustment to be made, if, if the coach is going to say anything as far as basics go, Round Valley's got a bad habit in the third quarter of picking up their dribble too early. And we then, saw that a little bit. And we then did. forcing themselves into passing situations that turned over the ball at moments when we shouldn't have. Um, so I'm thinking ball control, slow the, need to pick the tempo up a little bit, but maintain control. You want to find that sweet spot between fast and loose and slow and methodical. You need to get somewhere in that. Calm and calculate or calm and calculated. Cool and calculated. Something. Well, hustle with purpose, I guess is a Ooh. good way to say it. Hustle with purpose. Round Valley's going to get the ball as we start the fourth. Marble to inbound to Staten Wilson, and we're off to the races, guys. Eight minutes left to basketball. Round Valley up by nine. Wanting to see Pima tomorrow morning here on court one. Staten Wilson, he's going to draw. Oh, Brett Jordan for the three on the side. In and oh, out and over the back. Over the back's going to turn the ball over. But, you know, watch Marinci. They're working that full court press. They are not going to let us just get down the court. But we're going to let zero go coast to coast. Little bit of confusion. Round Valley's defense, they Abe, weren't really set up or ready. Abe Chavez, that's the first time I've seen him on the court tonight, Dan. Oh, Marinci with the rebound after a shot attempt. Seven-point ball game here in the Dome. Sanchez on our side. I'm not used to seeing him over here. He's usually <laughs> on the other side. Ten with a travel. Oh. Ooh, you hate to see it. Yeah. Well, Wildcats hate to see it. Wildcats hate to see it. Round Valley fans. Slightly okay with it. Christmas came early. <laughs> Staten Wilson looking to get across half court. Again, a quick pickup dribble there. Surprised to see it. Brett Jordan now taking a drive with a one-step dribble. Again, Dan, there you see us in a little bit of trouble. Round Valley needs to be a little bit smart and methodical with their dribble here. Across to Ryan. Ryan's all alone getting double teamed. There we go. Kicks it out. Staten from the side. In and out. 6.45 left in the ball game. 10 with a three-pointer. He's going to get that one he didn't get a minute ago. Four-point ball game. Yeah, post Time out Round Valley. Yeah. So here's, 
because I'm not a big basketball guy. I mean, I don't. You don't purport to be. Right. Okay. Here's what here's what I'm not understanding. Okay. Renzi comes in, they collapse on the ball carrier, so it's a two on one. They're trying to trap whoever's got the yeah. ball. Somebody's got to be open. Somebody's got to be open, and and for some reason we're having a hard time finding that open man. Well, I think we just saw it. You saw him kick it to Jordan to Staten. They were both pretty wide there. But I think maybe it's being quicker about it, possibly, right? Yeah. Uh, not getting stuck in the corner as much. Well, you know, in the last couple minutes, Ziegler has been down there under the basket by himself. Throw me the ball. Yeah. But we just can't seem to get him the ball. And I, you know, I, I'm not understanding why. I don't know if it's a play call or it's just heat of the moment type thing. Riker Marble, nobody around. Doesn't oh. get it to drop. Strip the ball from Brody Ziegler. Lopez up. Lopez now goes coast to coast. It's a two point ball game, ladies and gentlemen. 6.13 left. Don't travel. That was a second step. Jordan doesn't think that it was. It was. Unfortunately, it was. Opportunity for the Wildcats here, giving it to Sanchez, the big man underneath. Sanchez ties it up. Ryan with it after Staten gets tripped up over to Riker. Riker's going to shoot again. All ball. Brown Valley's ball underneath. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm starting to get a little concerned. Riker's over here in trouble. He's being double teamed. And we got two guys over on the other side just kind of standing around waiting for the pass. They need to come over, get open, and help him out. They can't just leave him hanging like that. Riker Marble, usually good with those shots underneath. The last two haven't dropped, unfortunately, and it has hurt the Elks a little bit. He's driving in left-handed. And one. We'll take that one. So Riker with the opportunity to bring us up three now. Yep, gets us out of the tie. But again, I'm a little concerned. Mm. We've got two guys working hard and three guys standing there waiting for a pass. I, that's concerning to me. Everybody should be moving, trying to get open, trying to make something happen. Marble with the shot, doesn't get it to drop. Brody Ziegler brings it down, gets tripped up. Out on Marinci? No, nope, out on us. It was close, and it was. I think it was. Because Brody was right there to catch it as it went out of bounds, I think. I think contact was Brody. was The, the last one to contact it was Brody, I believe, in that little scrum down there. 5.30 left in the ballgame. Your Elks up by two. It's 46-48 ballgame. One of the higher scoring ball games here in the round ball tournament. Sanchez drops two to even it up. Yeah, I think Sanchez is starting to show us why he's their go-to now. He had a slow start in this game, but he's starting to come on strong now. And one. And Wilson again with the and one. So interesting move, Dan. Did you see Riker just hold back? Completely removes himself from the equation, and Marinci didn't really act on it. They just no, let they Staten, stayed back with him. They let him run on into layup town. Staten been solid at the line for us. Let's see if he can make it a three-point ball game. It's 5.08 left in the game, Elks fans. Double zeros, double zero. Abe, Abe Chavez's second foul of the game. Wait, what happened? I'm, I'm not sure what he did. I'm not sure either. I'm not sure what that call was. Okay, Little bringing the ball down. Brody Ziegler being tenacious. Brody slaps it out of bounds trying to jump that pass. But that's going to slow Marenzi down and allow our defense to get set up a little bit. Traveling call will be the Wildcats underneath. What? Looking for brightness, like a white balance. Sanchez at the top of the key. He slips and goes down. Brett Jordan. Jordan's going all the way to the house. He's going to get a get foul. Fouled. 
So that will send Jordan to the line for two. Third team foul for Marinci already. That puts Round Valley in a good position from that perspective with five minutes left in the ball game. Yeah, absolutely. The fouls are lopsided right now. First free throw, not, no good. Two-point ball game. Here's the second. They crash the boards. That one goes in. I believe that's Little bringing it down for Marinci. Yep, that's Little to 10. 10 is Chavez. Chavez just inside the free throw. Nice. Staten Wilson, nice. They are off. No. But Brett Jordan going to get the call. Staten Wilson on the ground. Potential to tie the ball game up. Wow, they were all over Wilson. All over Wilson. They were picking his pocket, stealing his gum. I. No good. Riker Marble gets the rebound. Wilson across half court. He's going to pull up. Goes left side. Riker. Brody. On the ground, fourth team foul. Anything here on out, Marinci fouls takes us to the line, yeah, I believe. So that's going to send. Ooh, that's Little's fourth. And the, team, the fourth team foul. So now everything's going to be. Little, you know, Little stays in. Yeah. And Wilson gets two. Wilson. Timeout Wildcat. Guys, once again in this quick timeout situation as your Elks lead by three, 53-50. Give some love to our sponsors, to our advertising family. When you go in, when you go see them, let them know Let's Go Elks sent you. Give them a high five. We appreciate them being there for us. Go be there for them. We have some amazing folks. 405 left in the fourth. Three-point ball game. Round, Round Valley's got one team foul. marenzi has got four, and we have several players, key players on both teams, in now foul trouble. This is going to get interesting in the next four minutes. Yo, Diddy, ah. You, you, Diddy, ah. You, Diddy, ah. Yeah, sorry. Late, late to the ball game. You, Diddy, ah. You did he ah. All right. Okay. Four or five left of the ball game. The Elks up. Like you say, both teams with a little bit of foul situation, but Little's in the ball game. Little with four fouls. Passes inside Sanchez. Sanchez up left side. Doesn't get it. Marble with the rebound. Staten Wilson gets it. Little's out. Little's fouled out. Yep. With just a little push, nothing substantial. Sends Wilson to the line. Joel Brown coming down with that rebound that opened that up. Joa. 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 Did I say Joel? You said Joel. Joa. Joel Brown. Brown. Joel Brown fighting Santa. I believe it was Sanchez for that rebound. Coming down with it and getting it to Wilson. Amen coming into the ball game. Little is a freshman? That, that speaks well to the Wildcats. Wilson getting it done tonight. Has he missed from the free throw line down? I don't, I think he might have missed one. Maybe. Here's Not. his second, Staten Wilson. Yes! Five point ball game. 3.48 left in the game. Amen with the ball to Sanchez. Joa Brown with some nice defense. Again, Brett Jordan, Staten Wilson, all alone. Two points. Yeah. 3.33 left in the ball game. Ha, plot twist, the Chavez's aren't related. 
Thanks for letting us know, Jaded. Oh, a little tip-in action for Chavez. Five-point ball game. Brody Ziegler. Half for two. Seven-point ball game, 309. Kind of interesting, Pima's sitting over there with our student section cheering for us. They want to see us play. They want to play us tomorrow. Brody Ziegler gets the rebound. Brett Jordan for three. Boom! Oh. Boom! Oh. Ten point ball game. Here we go. 240 in the fourth. Sanchez with the ball, left handed dribble. He's going to get stopped foul. and won by Wilson. It's an eight point ball game, possibly seven. Sanchez weaker from the line for the Wildcats. I don't, he's either one, one and three or 0 oh and four from the last couple times I've seen him at the one line, and one and three. Oh, he made that last one, that's good. Oh, I don't remember the other two then. I remember the last two times he's been to the line. Shots up for Sanchez, that one drops. Seven point ball game, Riker Marble with the ball. 233, left on the clock. Is that a timeout for Round Valley? I think it is. It is. Guys, do us a favor in this timeout, rotate that phone or grab your phone. Give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying some Wildcat Round Valley Elks basketball right now. This is exciting, no matter what <laughs> side of the bleachers you're sitting on. Wow, we knew this was gonna be a good game. Also, don't forget, join the herd. Join the herd on our YouTube channel. We're pushing for 1,500 subscribers over the weekend. Help us get across the finish line there. Hey, the student section showed up, Dan. There's the buzzer, guys. 2.30 on the clock. 150 seconds. Yeah, that's like math and stuff. I had a Justin Timberlake song start go in my head, and I'm like, nope, that's not what I was trying to sing. Don't do it. No. Nope. Please don't do it. Can't stop, won't stop, Dan. Here we go. Brett Jordan with the inbound, looking to Brody. No, goes across to Staten. Staten comes back out and doesn't like it. Brett Jordan across. Yeah, I think he jumped a little too far underneath. Oh, Euro step. Doesn't oh. get it to drop. 23, Chris Lopez gives it to 10. Noah Chavez, Noah to aim in. Board by, uh, by Brett Jordan. Round Valley needs to slow it down, Dan. I don't know why Lopez didn't go to the hole. He was wide open. He didn't take it to the hole and dominate? Why did he, he passed it out and he had an opportunity to go right to the bucket? Brody Ziegler gives it to Brett Jordan. Brett Jordan in, shot up. I feel like the ball got tipped, he got tipped, something got tipped. Noah Chavez, will he go coast to coast as he trips up with the ball a little bit? Picks up his dribble, long three. And he gets it. That's a long three. Seven points is suddenly four points. Dishes to Jordan. 90 seconds left in the ball game. Round Valley holding on to their lead. And there's a push by 23. Ziegler to the line. Foul by number 23, Chris Lopez. And I think that's his third, maybe his fourth. That's his third. Dan, I got to stop yelling. There's a lot of basketball to happen tomorrow, and I don't have a voice now. Well, there's still a lot of basketball left in this game. A minute and a half is a lifetime in basketball. With a four-point game, here's the shot. Brody sinks the first one. I, that was incoherent, but I like it. <laughs> Five-point ball game, 127 on the clock. Brody, two for two from the line. Clutch free throws for the Round Valley Elks. To Amen, Amen gets the ball slapped by Staten Wilson. Back court. Yeah. Now the they're going to say it was tipped, and the, it was tipped by the, Wilson. It was either tipped on, by Wilson or a foul. No, that's what it is, and I was trying to hear with the official how he's justifying the call. I so did, did both when he tipped it were both was both teams touching the ball like I'm not sure I was trying to hear what the official was saying there. Well Wilson came up to jump the pass 
so it's either a tip ball or a foul. Aha. Uh -huh. Brett Jordan goes all the way in. Two points. Eight point ball game, 111 on the clock. The crowd's getting loud here in the dome. Two points for Sanchez. Timeout Time Marinci. Timeout Marinci at the possession change. Six point ball game, 60 to 66. I'm gonna take a look at the bracket, Dan. I feel like, That's Jaded, I, I will sing a little Justin Timberlake for you. We've only got four minutes to save the world. Well, I mean, you've got 30 seconds to belt it out because that's how long this time I'm taking is. a look really quick. Dan, I feel like, okay, Camp Verde Blue Ridge, 63 to 71. Blue Ridge Holbrook, 53 61. This is the second highest scoring ball game on the boys' side of the bracket the entire tournament. How did the, I'll just say, Camp uh, Safford game go last night? That was, was that 62 40? I'll just say, who, what, what? Camp uh, Safford and I'll just say last night. Safford plays St. Michael, 44-51. Here we go, we're back to the ball game, guys. Serious. Staten Wilson, we have under a minute. Six, six points. Marinci recovers, ball has, or Chris Lopez with the ball to number five, Joey Savalos. Joey's gonna go up. Oh, I thought he was gonna get an and one situation there. He's gonna shoot two with 45.9 seconds left in the ball game. Yeah, Marble with the push that the Elks in a comfortable position from a team foul perspective, Dan. They still got two more to force the shots. We're going to go to the line for two. I believe this is number five. Number five, Joey Ceballos. And it's in and out. Was that Callie Latham? I feel like that might have been. I don't know. What? The scream. You didn't hear that scream from the student section? I'm not paying attention. 45.9 seconds, round valley up by six. Here comes the second shot. We're shooting one, crashing the boards. Wilson telling the student section, get rowdy. Brett In Jordan out. gets it. Oh! And that's a mistake we don't want to see happen. Marinci's gonna get the ball underneath with 42.6. Inbound by Chavez. Chavez to Joey. Back to Noah Chavez, bringing it on to Amen. Amen to Chavez. Marinci taking way more time with the ball like Round Valley would be. Sanchez with the long ball. And there's a foul on the floor. What's it going to be? I want to see. 23. That's his fourth. Sending Wilson to the line. Staten Wilson going to the line. And of all the people that are going to go to the free throw line, I don't think you want to send Staten send Staten Wilson to the free throw line. Well, they're sending, they're putting marble Ry on the Riker. Line. I thought the foul was on Wilson. I guess it was on Marble. Well, you did say you weren't paying attention. I guess that makes sense. Well, but I thought I was doing better than that. <laughs> Riker Marble, 26.8 seconds. Round Valley with a six-point lead, 60 to 66 here on court one. Some of the teams heading for bed. This is the last game still being played tonight. There may be a game being played on court four right now. Looks like Cole Thompson checked back in for Ryan. Tom doing well tonight. He is. Both sides of the ball, I think. Or both sides of the court. Do you say both sides of the ball in, in uh, basketball? I just did. Let's go with it. Let's go, Elks. We got 26 seconds. Hit 26 that subscribe seconds. button, guys. You're enjoying what you're listening to. Let's go. Smash that like for your Round Valley Elks. It is now a seven-point ball game. Substitution. Oh, Ryan, Ryan's going to come back, in, back for in for Tom. Did he need to? What? I don't know why that happened. I don't either. I'm not sure. Well, that was fun. And hard. clock starts. Here we go. 25 seconds left. 10 with a long bomb. Wait, are they going to give Staten Wilson a push there? He was just standing there. Two with a push. Staten's going back to the line. Yeah. Well, he came. He didn't have the ball, and he came over, over the, the back. top to get the rebound and he fouled Wilson in the process. Well, so. I, I'm glad that, okay, so here the coach is asking. Let's see if we can hear. <laughs> he did try to get a piggyback ride. I, you know, he was fighting for the rebound. You gotta give him credit for that, but he did come it was a little much. over the top of Wilson to do it. So this, the new one has replay functionality, Dan. I've got to figure it out. Oh. 
Sweet. I believe that may be the first one he's missed tonight. Yeah. At we least in the half. Well, Staten that... Wilson goes for his second shot. Round Valley up by seven. 60 to 67. 20 seconds left on the clock. That one drains. It's an eight-point ball game. Tom coming into the game for Ryan, question mark? Yes. yes. They're getting seven-second sprints is what's going on right now. 19.9 <laughs> seconds. Clock will start when he touches the ball. Lopez, why, why would you not be on the line ready for that? I don't know why you wouldn't go and get the ball. It crossed half court. Did you see that? Oh, uh, he's out of bounds, so that's going to be round by his ball. I, if they're going to roll it down the court, I'd get out there on it. Well, I'd I'm jump surprised it. he didn't get closer because it crossed half court before he touched the ball. Yeah. Brett Jordan inbounds to Tom. Well, they got to get across to half Jordan. court. They've got to get across half. Brody Ziegler. Oh. Brody Ziegler. Ladies and, and gentlemen, it. that is the ball game. Your Round Valley Elks just overtaking, just overtook the Marinci Wildcats, 60 to 68, advancing to the semifinals against the Pima Rough Riders. They will face them tomorrow morning. Wow. Both of your Round Valley teams headed to the semis, Dan. What a great tournament so far by both Round Valley teams. Working hard, showing up, getting it done. I mean, a little bit sloppy in some areas, but still overcoming and getting it done in the end. Yeah, a, a few mistakes, nothing that broke the bank, but just a few things, especially in key momentum shifts that you don't want to see happen. So hopefully Round Valley can get some good rest, get some hydration, be ready to hit it tomorrow. Well, I think, you know, the one thing that needs to be said is some of the, some of the mistakes, you know, some of the mishaps that happened on the court tonight could have potentially been momentum shifters. Yeah, yeah. But for the Round Valley team, they didn't let that, they didn't let that bring them down. They stayed up, they worked through it, they didn't Put implode. Behind them. They never imploded. And yep. they kept going. And that that is huge because especially when you get in this type of ball game, you can't afford to implode like that. Well, and props to the Wildcats because I don't think they ever did either. No. They, they never thought, quit playing either. No, they they had a couple of I don't want to say questionable calls, but they had a couple of things that happened that did not go their way. That Probably could have. Late, late in the ball game, yeah. which definitely got the coaches frustrated. And just as much as a player can implode, those three coaches could be struggle busting as well. And that changes the game as well. Yeah, so when, when the coaches lose their heads or when they're struggling, it's just as much of an impact, or even more, well, as when sure, a player does. Well, sure, because the kids feed on that energy too. 100%. Oh, you're a player, Joe. The Elks fans and the Wildcat fans starting to clear the stands. This is going to be the last game of the night as we come back for games. I believe the earliest game is going to be 9 o'clock in the morning. So the same time, guys, while this is happening, Round Valley will be playing um, Pima and Safford will be playing Holbrook to determine the championship on the boys' side of the house. Safford and Holbrook will be on court two. So if we're bringing you live commentary, hopefully we can be watching that score and giving you a little bit of an update as to what's going on. Well, I'm going to make a prediction. I'm going to, since I'm not going to be here tomorrow. I'm predict gonna away. A, I'm going to make a prediction. I'm going to call Round Valley Holbrook in the championship. Round Valley Holbrook, the uh, Elks Roadrunners for the. If, if Round Valley can keep this momentum up, uh, they can beat this Pima team. Yep. I believe they can. Uh, that being said, I think Holbrook is going to turn up the gas on Safford. And I think it's going to be a Holbrook Round be Valley game. Championship game. Holbrook beating Blue Ridge by eight. Holbrook beating St. Michael's by 33. And so putting the pressure on both of the teams that they've played so far. Safford getting a bye in the second round after beating St. John's 53-29. So Safford's going to have the freshest legs of anybody. They have one less game under their belt, and they haven't played since 10.30 this morning. They're going to have an entire day off almost, 22 and a half hours. Yeah, but that could work against you. 
because if you have that much idle time, it's not like there's a court that's free where they can practice and work out sure. and stay focused. So they're going to have a lot of time to not work on their basketball game. Oh, so you're seeing it as, as a disadvantage. Then. I see it as a disadvantage because it's hard to keep your players focused when you can't keep them on the court. Okay. So I see that as a disadvantage for Safford going into that Holbrook game. All right, Riker's going to try to dunk it again. Let's go back to the full screen here. Oh, he fixes it. There's Brett Jordan. So we're having a dunking contest after the game. That's hopefully, interesting. Hopefully nobody gets hurt. That would be the only thing going through my parent slash coach brain at the moment. But a little celebration in order. Round Valley coming out with a big victory here tonight. Yeah, I, you know, hats off to Marinci. They, uh, they never let up. They kept their foot on the gas. They kept the pressure on Round Valley. I think their biggest mistake, if you could say Marinci made a mistake in this ball game, was the fouls against Staten Wilson sending him to the line. I mean, Staten Wilson had a great night. Right? And You're going to keep sending him to the line and that keep is, letting him shoot the yeah, ball. Yeah, that is not the guy you want to keep sending to the line. I, I just, you know, foul anybody else. But, and they didn't. But then and, again, and how many free throws did Staten shoot in the second half? Well, how Eight, many, nine, he, ten? Yeah, he had several in both halves. Yep. So, but to his credit, as far as production goes, he was probably the point leader tonight without having the stat book in front oh, of him. Oh, I, I would love to see how things balanced out tonight from a points perspective. I mean, you know, Riker did a great job getting us down there, but Wilson was the one that did the lion's share of the delivery, in my opinion, just based on the way I remember the game. I don't know, I might be wrong, but if he wasn't, he was a close second. Should we try to get post him? Yeah, let's see if we can get him up here. here let me see, let me see your mic. I'm gonna run down there, Rustin. If I get it, dial in on me, okay? Let me see if we can catch him real quick. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna run down to the court really quick, see if we can get a little bit of an interview before we head home tonight. Yeah, I had life I had like 20 times. You're on Valley Elks beating the Marinci Wildcats here in the quarterfinals. We're headed to the semis tomorrow morning. Round Valley getting ready to face the Pima Rough Riders. I'm going to see if I can't catch somebody here. They're probably gone now that I got down on the field, down on the court. They're out of here. I see that. So I think we just missed him. I was a little bit back. He probably saw me coming is what it was. He probably saw me headed down this way. They are headed to go have a conversation, which they need to to get things dialed in for tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, that's probably going to finish up our coverage here in the Dome. We just missed Coach Poston, but they were headed in to get a talk going so they can get ready for the Pima Rough Riders tomorrow as the kids play a little bit on the court as we get ready to bring it on home. Guys, we'll be back here once we get the crew together. 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, the Round Valley Elks play 10.30. The Round Valley Lady Elks play. You're not going to want to miss it. Both of these games for the championship that will be at 4.30 for the ladies, 6 o'clock for the boys as we wrap up the third day of the round ball tournament here in Eager, Arizona. 74 games, 28 teams. It's a lot of basketball in 72 hours. Just like Dan was saying, props to a well-rounded Round Valley Elk scores all over the place. There were a couple standouts, definitely a couple highlights, but definitely scores all over the place. The man that would know because he was nearer the stat book than me, Stephen, Stephen, who was the high point scorer for the Round Valley Elks? I would all, Staten Wilson, she, she can tell. Oh, she, Andrea she, had the I book. I had the books, yes. Andrea, Staten us. Wilson did awesome. For the first three quarters, he was the only person that made any foul shots. For Round Valley. And, Round Valley. I, and did and you he only miss one? I think yes. I only saw three. him miss one. He missed yes. three. Two in the first quarter and then one there in the end. Okay. And that's it. So what, nine for 12 from Crazy the line? Good. Something he like that, awesome. right? Yeah. 
Yeah. That's so that's the difference. He yeah. misses those free throws, we lose the ball game. Well, and you need those free points. Yep. Especially when you're playing a team like Lorenzi. You've got to have those free points when they're available. I mean that well, you saw the difference. I mean Sanchez for for uh Marenzi, I, if he was shooting 50%, he's lucky yes, yes, from you're the right, line. You're right. I mean, that was, yeah. and they could have used every one of those buckets by the fourth quarter. Yeah. So a well-rounded Round Valley team tonight, getting rested to get ready to play the Pima Rough Riders. Uh, were either of you able to watch the Rough Riders play today? No. I didn't get to see them play either. I feel like we were across. I haven't seen them play at all, I don't think. Well, I saw their girls last night. I've gone out on a limb. I'm calling Holbrook Round Valley for the championship. I know, that'd be a good game. That is a big limb because Pima is loaded. I, I I'm going to take that chance. I'm going to take that chance. If Round Valley can maintain the momentum that they've had the last two games in this game as well, we'll see what they can do against the Pima Rough Riders well, here in the morning. Wasn't the crowd awesome there at the end? We, we, we noticed we got a lot of junior high fans in and they were loud. The yeah, high school, awesome. junior high, Pima High School, all yeah. cheering for the Round Valley Elks a little bit. We love but that. but it was it was a full house. It was nice to see the bleachers full, especially the student section here on the south side. Yes. It was awesome. Well, the Pima kids should yell for Round Valley because half of them are descended from Round Valley. That's fair. That's, so. That's fair. And they they want they obviously want to play us. I think is what's going on. So guys. We wrap things up here in the dome. We are going to get out of here so we can get a little bit of rest. We're back at it at 9 o'clock. i got to find somebody to run the situation here tomorrow morning. So from Let's Go Wells, it's been Rustin McBride on the camera. Wesley McBride doing I don't know what. Mr. Dan Muth, thanks for joining me. Appreciate you, sir. Hey, thanks for having me. That was a lot of fun. I don't. Basketball is not really my thing, but I had a good time tonight, so I appreciate it. I hope it was coherent, ladies and gentlemen. I hope what we did for you made some semblance of sense. If not, hopefully the video was good on Rustin's side. Guys, from Let's Go Elks, you guys have a good night. Make good choices. We'll see you manana. Live 17 floors up and when it rains I can feel those drops in my window pane Let's me know that I'm still here But when the sun comes out I will go outside When it breaks through clouds I will give a smile Let's me know that I'm still here Sometimes I want to run away Run away To fun good times again